Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a good day. I hope you're feeling it. So I thought that I would vlog today. Whoa, am I in focus? Focus. I thought that I would vlog today. It's actually New Year's Eve, the day that I'm filming this. And so I thought that I would take you along and just show you what I get up to today. It's a working day, so I have a lot to get done. And also, I just want to get a few things done around my place as well. Um, I also just got a new camera, so I think it's having trouble focusing. So I need to figure that out as well. So if there is an issue with the focus, then I apologize. But I am going to, I need to do my washing. But before we get into that, I just want to have a little bit of a chat about why I left for as long as I did because I took four months off YouTube, which is the longest amount of time that I've ever taken off. So to be honest with you, um, when I first left YouTube, I was planning on only leaving for a week or two, having a week or two break. And then that turned into four months. So it started with me just not feeling inspired or motivated by YouTube and the platform anymore. I felt like I was being scrutinized for every single little thing and people wouldn't give me a break and people wouldn't let me breathe and it was so overwhelming. And so I thought, let me take a step back. Let me take two weeks off. Let me refresh. Two weeks turned into three weeks and three weeks turned into four weeks. And I got so busy with my real life that I was like, what even is YouTube? Where is my place on YouTube? And what do I want to do with this platform? And honestly, it took me a long time to come back because I do not like people feeling like they are justified in having an opinion about the way that I choose to live and people feeling like it's okay to critique every single little thing that they see someone doing online. And this is usually a topic that I try to avoid talking about because I understand that a lot of people have really, really good intentions for you when they are giving you advice, but their advice almost never comes off as genuine and their advice almost never is well perceived because you don't know the person that you're speaking to behind the camera. So a lot of people feel like they might know me, they might be really close with me, but the reality is to me, you're a stranger. To me, I have no idea who you are. I have no idea what your intentions are. And if you are analyzing a part of my character that you think is a flaw, or you're analyzing a part of my daily routine that you don't like, I have already analyzed that part of myself and I'm aware of it and I don't need anybody to point it out. And so originally that's why I left. Then life got crazy. Um, I got some really, really exciting news. I had some really unfortunate things happen to me as well. And life was just too busy for me to pick up a camera. And honestly, YouTube just stopped being my priority. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to come back. Um, I always had in my brain, yeah, okay, I'll come back to YouTube eventually. But man, I was gone for four months <laughs> for a large chunk of that. I still didn't want to come back because I didn't want, again, people online to just feel like they're entitled to say whatever they want about me because it does really affect me and it's something that I never really show that I'm affected by and I don't want to sound complainy because I know that majority of my audience is so supportive and so kind and so appreciative but honestly my place on this platform I had to really reanalyze it and it's just a place that I want to share what real life as a Muslima looks like for me it's not a place where I and perfect. It's not a place where I have everything in my life together. I really just want to be real and I want this platform to be a place where it looks like real life. It looks like me incorporating Islam into my daily routine. It looks normal and I don't have everything figured out and that's okay. And so I finally figured all of that out and I am back. So I thought that I'll take you along for my day today and probably my day tomorrow. Um, and share my really exciting news with you guys, which you'll find out very, very soon in this video. So make sure you keep watching and make sure if you do have any content ideas or anything that you want to see from me, then you drop them down below. My first order of business is to get rid of this entire pile of clothes because it is chaotic. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and fold this all and put it away. I also really need to go through and water my plants because it's dry in there. So I'm going to go water my plants as well. This plant also needs to be dusted because it's really not doing well either. Look at all that dust. That's so gross. Oh. 
Herzog scored 21 points on the first 13 turnovers. Uh, Patty Mills working from beyond the arc. It's just a great job moving without the basketball. We talked about that in the, the open. So I made this little platter. Well, it's not really little, but I made this platter. So we've got some mandarins, some blackberries that are actually really, really nice. I like blackberries. Um, some biscuits, some chives and cheese dip, Tim Tams, blueberries, carrots, cucumbers, more biscuits, some cookies, some grapes, which again are really, really nice. Um, we've got some cherry ripe and some hummus as well. And we are currently watching OJ vs. The People, which is actually quite a good show if you guys are looking for something to watch on Netflix. But this is basically our quarantine night in. And we're drinking this sparkling red grape juice. It's really, really nice. It's actually so delicious. So basically this is our quarantine New Year's Eve. Hey lovelies, so it is now the 1st of January 2021 and I actually wanted to give you guys a little skincare routine slash update this morning but for some reason my facial oil is missing and I'm pretty sure my husband accidentally misplaced it and probably chucked it in the rubbish but he says that he didn't so <laughs> I don't know where it is. I guess we'll save that for another video but I thought that I would come on here and finally announce my really exciting news and share this with you guys because... I'm obviously so excited about it and I know that it's going to be something that will benefit so many of you who choose to take advantage of it. So the first thing is my husband and I officially started a podcast. We're so, so excited about it. Right now it is being distributed to a bunch of different streaming services including Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all that sort of thing. So that is coming very, very soon and I will let you guys know when you are able to watch it on those platforms. But right now you can actually watch it on YouTube. So we made a specific YouTube channel dedicated to our podcast and I will leave that linked down below. So please, please make sure you go follow our podcast YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. So it's a podcast with me and my husband together and it is a lifestyle podcast. So we talk about all things lifestyle related from like faith to marriage to children to parenting and work, finance, all of those things. It's going to be a super, super inclusive podcast and I know that you guys are going to love some of the conversations that we have. We really want to strive to make it a place where we talk about the really real things that a lot of people avoid discussing. So please make sure you go check out our podcast YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe to that. Again, I'll leave a link down below. And you can actually watch the first episode as well or listen to the first episode through that link as well. So make sure you go follow us there. The second really, really, really exciting news that I'm so excited to announce to you guys is that I finally have a website. I have been working on this website for so long. It's been so long in the process and I really just wanted a place where you could find absolutely everything to do with me in one place. So you'll be able to click on it, you'll be able to find all of my platforms, you'll be able to find out more about me, who I am, you'll be able to find out more about my life coaching service and my signature coaching program if any of you are interested in that. And you'll also be able to apply for the coaching program if you are interested in that. And you'll also be able to shop my store as well. So right now I have just launched my first ebook which I am so incredibly excited about. It is a 14 page ebook and it is a seven day Quran study guide. So it is a guided study through the entirety of Surah Nur. Surah Nur is 28 verses long and so I know that a lot of people have the goal this year to engage more with the Quran and to 
get more personal with it and to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and not only just read Quran more often but also to understand it and so if you like my study Quran with me videos and my tafsir videos and my videos where I go through and deconstruct the Quran then you will literally love this study guide because it is like that but in word format and it will teach you step by step how to actually deconstruct the Quran and deconstruct that surah ayat by ayat so within seven days from now if you download the ebook, you will know and understand and probably remember a lot of what happens in Surah Nur. And I love this Surah so much, which is why I chose it. And I think that there's so many lessons in Nur story. Alayhi salam. Not to toot my own horn, but I think it's a really, really well done ebook. And I tried to make it as affordable as I could for you guys. So it is only 10 Australian dollars. So that's really, really cheap for an ebook. That works out to be about $7 in US dollars or about five pounds for the first week. 30% of all purchases will be going directly to charity. It will be going towards building a water well with Islamic Ummah Relief. So I'm super, super excited about that as well. So again, if you are interested, you can purchase my ebook, Seven Day Quran Study of Surah Nur. And I know that you'll love it. I worked really, really hard on it. It's also just nice to know that you're starting a new habit, probably the most in important habit that you'll start in 2021, um, which will be engaging with the Quran more and learning more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his book while also supporting a charity, inshallah, even after you've passed away, will be means of you earning rewards if you do purchase within the next seven days. Like I said, it's going towards building a water well. And so with that being said, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are super excited and that you'll support me with this. I always want this platform to be a place where I share things that are beneficial with you guys and things that um, are genuinely going to help you and I think that this is one of those things that are genuinely going to help so many people and so I'm really eager for you guys to get your hands on it and I'm really eager to read reviews and hear your feedback for it so please feel free to message me on Instagram and let me know what you think of it after you do purchase it as well but I am sure that you'll love it so with that being said I thought I would end this video here. A nice little sweet wrap up of my New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. I can't wait to go to Kmart to buy a 2021 planner and I hope they're not sold out. But with that being said, it's a good day. And if you are feeling a good day at the beginning of this video, then I hope you're feeling it now. And I will talk to you guys soon. So like, bye.